Welcome to 10 Minute Film Tutorial, the show that discusses, explores, and explains all the Hollywood techniques you see on the big screen. I'm Trevor Conaher, and today we will be looking at how to achieve the cinematic look. Let's first begin with your camera specs and settings. Your frame rate should be set to 920 by 1080 p at 24 frames per second. Some of you may question why you shouldn't shoot at a higher resolution or FPS if possible. In this case, my young Padawan, by shooting at a higher FPS or resolution, you lose some cinematic motion blur. The motion by the actors is too smooth, it's unrealistic, where at shooting at 24 frames per second at 1080p, you keep that cinematic motion blur that is associated both with nature and the cinematic look. ISO, or the sensitivity your camera has to light, should be adjusted appropriately depending upon the location of your production. If you are outside, then your ISO will likely be between 100 and 200. If you are inside, then your ISO will likely be between 700 and 800. The larger the number, the more sensitive your camera is to light. Subsequently, the smaller the number, the camera is less sensitive to light. However, adjusting your ISO is not an alternative to a poor lighting setup, as if you increase it too much, it will result in distracting digital noise that will degrade from your image quality. Shutter speed is another term that amateur filmmakers must be aware of. It is a term that is associated with the time in which a camera sensor is exposed to light. Depending upon how long these situations are, it can affect the image in a variety of ways. Shutter speeds such as one fourth of a second will have a brighter image, but in contrast, the motion in that image will be perceived as blurrier. Shorter shutter speeds such as one one twenty-fifth of a second will have a much crisper image and motion, but as a result, it will be a darker image. Most People recommend that if you are shooting at 24 frames per second, that you should have a shutter speed between 1 48th a second and 1 50th a second. If you have 25 frames per second at max, then you should be shooting at 1 60th of a second for your shutter speed. White balance is a term associated with the calibration of your camera's colors to the environment. By calibrating your white balance, you ensure that your uh, subject can always be seen and highlighted within the frame. My Canon Rebel SL2 offers a wide variety of white balance templates. For this video, I have been using fluorescent lighting, which excels in an indoor environment and as the name implies, under fluorescent lighting. Using the appropriate white balance, you have a lot of flexibility in post-production to do any color grading that you may want. You could add a bluish tint or bump up the exposure or saturation. Those are only a few examples of how you can manipulate and use appropriate white balance to get the perfect image that you want. Now that your camera settings are in order, it's absolutely crucial that your audience can see the subject that you are shooting. Yep, lighting. Lighting is a powerful tool that when utilized appropriately can either make or break a production. For example, if an audience can't see your subject, how are they supposed to engage in the story that you are trying to tell? Cold light is used to replicate indoor lighting, whereas warm light is used to replicate natural light. Additionally, you'll have to decide between softer hard lighting. Each light has a variety of advantages as well as disadvantages. However, directors who want to achieve the cinematic look typically choose soft lighting as it's much more forgiving on the subjects and the light technicians themselves. Knowing when to utilize either warm or cold lighting to light your subject either broadside or near side, to silhouette your subject for dramatic effect or to bathe them in light to suggest an inspirational moment is all challenges of trying to achieve the cinematic look. However, over time and with additional training, you can certainly become very proficient in it. Composition is as equally as important as lighting. The more entertaining a shot is, the more likely it will retain the audience's attention. Although you can experiment with a variety of camera angles, movies and directors who are attempting to achieve the cinematic look typically set the camera at eye level. 
This is in a way to promote a sense of realism. The rule of thirds allows young cinematographers to compose a much more interesting shot. One that incorporates both the background itself and the subject. One that not only progresses the plot, but also conveys a message in itself. One excellent example occurs in the horror film, The Strangers. The female lead, Kristen, is shown with an extended shot, relaxing in an excluded townhouse. She turns towards the camera, cigarette in hand, but from within the shadows behind her, the killer emerges. He doesn't attack, but simply observes Kristen as she walks into the kitchen. Once there, she grabs a glass of water and proceeds to turn around. The director simultaneously flips the perspective of the camera itself, favoring her emotional and physical reaction to the feeling that she's being watched. A sensation that everyone can not only relate with, but have also experienced at some point within their life. Finally, the sequence wraps up with a tracking shot of her reacting to this feeling. However, like all things, this extended shot can, alone, also be further analyzed. Kristen begins on the defensive, obscured behind a wall. Additionally, this shot obeys the law of thirds. As the sequence continues, Kristen moves to the center, expressing a feeling of isolationism. Finally, when Kristen def decides to defend herself, she moves to the right third of the screen, exposed, reaching for a knife. Very little breathing room between her and the end of the frame. As you can clearly see, the director, and more specifically the cinematographer, add an additional layer of complexity as well as sense of immersion when they communicate not only through the story itself, but through the composition of their images. Congratulations! Within this video, you have learned how to appropriately adjust your camera settings, light your subject, and compose both an interesting and compelling shot. If you would like any more information regarding the topics we discussed in this video, links will be provided in the description below. And remember, a blank page has the most potential. Good night.